गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शेर खान प्री मार्केट व्यू येस्टरडे इंडियन मार्केट्स क्लोज ऑन ए पॉजिटिव नोट आफ्टर आर बी आई क्लिक द पॉज बटन ऑन द रेट साइकिल वी हैड आर बी आई पॉलिसी कमिंग इन एंड वॉज अनाउंस बाय रघु राम राजन एंड ही कैप्ट ऑल द पॉलिसी रेट्स अनचेंज विच हेल्प द इंडियन मार्केट्स टू रिकॉप सम ऑफ द लॉसिस दैट दे हैड मेड अर्लियर इन द डे एंड क्लोज ऑन ए पॉजिटिव नोट If you look at the global markets, uh, U.S. market also were quite buoyant uh, after a good data point coming in. I mean, the ISM manufacturing data was announced, which showed an uptick towards 53.7, thereby showing that the economy continued to remain robust, and uh, all the data points which were bad were due to the weather issue. In line with most of the global markets, Asian markets are also trading on a positive note. Uh, Hang Seng is up by about close to one percent. Uh, Nikkei is also trading uh, quite positive. Singapore Nifty is indicating a positive opening by 17 points. Uh, if you look at the flows, flows continues to be robust from FII. They pumped in about 375 crores uh, of money in the cash market. In the futures, that is index futures, they were marginal buyers of about 59 crores, whereas DIIs were sellers to the tune of 247 crores. Uh, Now to have a more update in terms of how Nifty is poised from here, uh, from derivative point of view, let's uh, have Sadna. Good morning, friends. Let's have a view on Nifty. Yesterday, on the very first day of financial year 2014-15, we have seen that market started the session on positive note. But during the session, markets continued to trade very volatile, and finally snapped the session with a margin gain of 0.25 percent. And we have seen that not much of activity was observed in Nifty futures, as we have seen that around 4,000 shares were added in Nifty futures, and cost of carry also increased marginally by approximately 25 basis points. And on the PCR front, it is increased marginally from 0.93 to 0.94, just clearly indicating that put option has added more number of shares than call option. We can see that put option strike of 6,600 stands with highest number of shares in open interest. And one good thing we have observed that call option strike of 6,700 we have seen unwinding activity taking place, and good number of additions, good number of positions are adding in 6,800 and 6,900 call option. Our intraday support would be 6735. Resistance would be 6800, and there is no security in bank period today. Yesterday, FIS were net buyers of more than 247 crores in future and option segment. Overall, the bias for the market is positive as we are trading above five days V wave of 6685, and we feel that a dip can be taken as an opportunity to open the long positions. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Friends, moving on to the actionable ideas for the day, uh, we have uh, first the banking uh, candidates. Yesterday, Election Commission has given an go ahead uh, to RBI to conduct and issue banking license as per the RBI norms. Now, uh, the front running candidates are Indian Postal Department (IDFC), LIC Housing, LIT Housing Finance, uh, LIC Housing Finance, and uh, Reliance ADG. Now, out of this idea, we feel IDFC uh, can be uh, considered as a long idea with stop loss of about 120 half for potential target of 127 and 29. L&T uh, Finance uh, with a stop loss of about 73.75 for a potential target of 79. And uh, we can also take uh, a long on LIC Housing Finance with a stop loss of about 232 for potential target of 244 and all that at 248. Uh, yesterday, friends, also auto sales number uh, were announced. And Sangyong, uh, which is a subsidiary of M&M, has uh, shown a 23% rise in sales to 13,232 uh, units. Now, Sangyong, uh, which is listed on the Seoul Exchange, uh, is trading close to two years high. This could have a positive rub off uh, effect on M&M stock out here in India, and one can long M&M with a stop loss of about 978 for potential target of 1,024 and above that at 1,045. Also, friends, the election commission yesterday has approved fixed urea hike by rupees 350 per metric ton. Uh, now, this move will definitely cost uh, government uh, close to 900 crores. However, this is positive for most of the urea companies, including companies which have a vintage uh, facility. Now, vintage, uh, as per the norms, this plant which is over 30 years old would uh, be allowed the additional benefit of 150 per metric ton. Now, this is a positive news for Chambal fertilizer, and one can long it with stop loss of about 39.75 for potential target of 42R. Uh, which uh, watch list uh, for today we have? Uh, we have a positive buy stock. One can long uh, run Baxi. One can also look at HCL Tech and uh, K in India with a stop loss of about one and a half to two percent for potential target of about two to four percent. 
Uh, moving on to uh, other news, Supreme Court uh, would continue its hearing on the Reliance Industry case uh, for the gas price hike and uh, that would be taken up uh, starting today. We also have a board of meeting uh, which is going to be held by Arshia Limited for issue of preferential shares and uh, this is going to happen today uh, as per the CDR norms uh, which it had applied earlier. Also, RBI has uh, halted further purchase in a uh, couple of bank stocks. Uh, we had the uh, Axis Bank which has reached uh, its limit of about 49% and hence uh, further purchase by FIH won't be allowed. Also same is the case with South India Bank which has hit uh, its FI limits. Also friends, uh, Petroleum and uh, Natural Gas Ministry has decided to discontinue the practice of uh, monthly diesel price hike. Now as you would recollect that uh, there is going to be a uh, monthly diesel price hike which was going on by 50 paise till now. Now in case uh, this is uh, accepted by the election commission, this would uh, result into diesel uh, subsidy being increased and the under recovery which is currently close to 6 rupees uh, would cost the exchequer more. However, this step uh, would be seen as a populist measure uh, by the government. Uh, however, if implemented, this would be very negative uh, for OMCs and upstream oil marketing companies like Oil India and ONGs. Also friends, JSW Steel has confirmed that they have cut the HR steel prices by about close to 500 to 750 rupees per ton and wire rod prices by about 500 rupees per ton. Also, RBI has relaxed uh, rough diamond import norms. Uh, now, RBI uh, is going to uh, relax these norms for diamond industry and this could turn out to be a positive news for diamond companies like Shrenoj and Gita and Indians. Uh, that's it friends, uh, we have in our session. Thank you.